Shelley Neese from Jerusalem Connection in for Jim Hutchins for this week's Spot Report. UNESCO is an agency of the UN which was created to promote peace and security through educational and cultural exchange. It appears, however, that the members of UNESCO have fallen asleep at the wheel. Last week, UNESCO's executive board ratified a resolution which by its language tries to erase 3,000 years of Jewish religious history in Jerusalem. The draft resolution was written by Jordan and submitted by seven Arab states, Algeria, Egypt, Lebanon, Morocco, Oman, Qatar, and Sudan. Of course, the resolution also had the enthusiastic support of the Palestinian Authority, a full member of UNESCO since 2011. The central aim of the resolution was to formalize criticism of Israel's conduct in Jerusalem. The resolution refers to Israel as the occupying power and blames the Jewish state and settlers for the hike in violence in the region. That alone is hardly newsworthy and is nothing out of the ordinary for the United Nations an international body delighting in scapegoating the Jewish state. This resolution was most disturbing because it made an exclusive Islamic claim to Jerusalem's holy basin. The language in the resolution should make the blood of every Christian and Jewish person's blood boil. It was carefully drafted to sever ties between Judaism and the Temple Mount and the Western Wall. It only calls the Temple Mount by its Arabic name Haram al-Sharif, and the Western Wall by the name al Burak Plaza. The resolution insists that these are Muslim places of worship. There is no mention of the Jewish temples that stood at the site for a thousand years, or the two thousand years of continuous Jewish attachment to Jerusalem. Christianity's touchstone moments all happen in Jerusalem, but that also is omitted. There is only a passing reference to the importance of the old city to the three monotheistic religions. The resolution accuses Israel of restricting Muslim worship on the Temple Mount. Yet no mention is made of the daily assaults on Jewish visitors. To the Temple Mount by Muslim rioters, nothing is said about the fact that non-Muslims are completely forbidden from worshiping on the Temple Mount. Only Muslims can pray and prostrate themselves. Only Muslims can carry holy text or even eat on the Temple Mount. The timing of this resolution is also perplexing. After an intense two years of Palestinian terrorism in Jerusalem, it surprises me that the Arab countries thought now would be a proper moment to highlight what they perceive as Israel's aggression. The same week of the vote, two Israelis were killed by a Palestinian man on a rampage with a knife, a near weekly event in the holy city. 24 countries voted in favor of the resolution and 26 abstained. Six countries voted against it, including the U.S., Britain, and Germany. It was considered a diplomatic victory in Israel that the 33 countries which originally supported the draft resolution dropped down to 24. France and Spain's abstention was especially recognized. In the last minute, Mexico's envoy had a crisis of conscience and retracted his nation's vote of support, and Brazil said the next time it would do the same. Even the Director General of UNESCO made statements after the vote that reflected her disapproval. She said to deny, conceal, or erase any of the Jewish, Christian, or Muslim traditions undermines the integrity of the site and runs counter to the reasons that justified the Temple Mount's inscription on the UNESCO World Heritage List. She received death threats from Islamic terrorists shortly after her statement. Be sure, Israelis are not just licking their wounds. Two days after the UNESCO resolution was ratified, 50,000 Jews gathered at the Western Wall to receive the blessing recited annually during Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. Among those present at the Wall were also a few thousand Christians. If actions speak louder than words, the Sukkot celebration should show the world that the Temple Mount and Western Wall are most certainly not under the exclusive domain of Muslims. The Temple Mount has always been the center point of the Jewish faith, and it will continue to be. On Sukkot, a season of pilgrimage, Jews pray that one day the Temple will be rebuilt and they will ascend and appear and bow before their Creator. 
UNESCO resolutions may be a public insult, but they cannot rewrite history, erase archaeological evidence, or nullify eternal covenants. Shavuotov.